As you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress since the last time I was on the video. Uh, this is probably about three hours in. This assignment should take you about six hours to do. You're probably wondering if you have to be this complete and exact. No, you don't. A lot of times people just suggest shapes and that would be perfectly fine. But I do want you to look where you find the light edges and the dark edges. So when you're looking at something, decide, okay, is the edge of the bag going to be darker or lighter than the edge of the onion? You are shooting for eight to 10 values. This has eight to 10 values in it. That's everything from the very, very dark of the shadow at the bottom to the white of the paper that I, I'm going to be leaving for the highlights. Another question that you're probably asking is, do I have to do the whole thing? I want you to do most of it, but you can cut off parts. You, you could start by making this part just cut off at the edge, and then you could maybe even make it closer. I've drawn this very large because again, I want you to see it. It's actually slightly larger or maybe about the same size as it is in reality. Also, I do want you to, in the darker areas, which I've talked about before, look to see the way the subtle tones change. You can really have some fun with that. And at the bottom, I'm gonna just let this fade away. I'm not gonna finish that whole cloth. The other question that you're gonna ask is, do I have to put the cloth underneath it uh, as far as the green cloth? You don't necessarily have to, but it will make things look more finished. I probably won't add much shading of the white cloth on the very bottom, but I will add a few little details just to give it that idea that it's sitting on something and not floating in space. Uh, again, I know some of you don't really like still lifes, but this can help you grow as an artist, and I hope that you really take it seriously and have a great time in the process.